Hi, I'm Ian Giddings, owner and franchisee of the Cornish Oggy Oggy Pasty Shop in Mayflower Street, Plymouth City Centre. Plymouth being a naval port with a good summer season and a good run up to Christmas. It's, there's a big catchment area around Plymouth and everybody comes to the city centre at various times of the year and uses the shops. Um, well, at the moment we employ about seven staff, three full time and the rest doing between five and twenty hours a week. So what's it like to be a franchise owner? It's very good. I enjoy it tremendously. I enjoy the work, get out of the bed in the morning, self-motivated. I come in, I dream about, am I going to beat yesterday's take-ins? Are we going to have new customers come in today? How many passes am I going to sell? You've got to be motivated. You've got to work hard. And that's the success of a franchisee. What made you decide to become an Oggy Oggy franchise owner? Well, we've been in retail, my wife and I, for approximately 30 years and we decided we wanted a career change. I looked at other franchises such as McDonald's and Costa Coffee, things like that, and they, they were very expensive. I saw it in a local, advert, a local paper, there was an advertisement advertising for opportunities with Oggy Oggy, whether it was a van sales job where you take a franchise delivering pasties around to industrial units, whether you wanted a takeaway unit or whether you wanted a cafe and takeaway. Um, we, we investigated it thoroughly. We went around, visited various shops. I met with Brian Stanlick, um, the MD of, of Oggy. We spent time locating sites and we opened our first shop in Totnes approximately four months after meeting with Brian for the first time. Was it what you expected? It's more than I expected. I think my expectations weren't too high at the start, but as, we, as, as time progressed, we met our um, projections in approximately eight to nine months uh, of trading, which was, which was really good. How many pasties do you actually sell? <laughs> How many pasties do I sell a week? I've been asked this question nearly every day, probably thousands. I think most people would be interested to try and work out what the peak season is for pasty sales. Peak season for pasty sales, if you've got a seasonal shop in a, in a summer town, you always July and August is the busiest time. But in, in places like Plymouth City Centre, it tends to be the lead up to Christmas. Is it a profitable franchise for anyone to consider? Is it profitable? I wouldn't be sitting here now if it wasn't profitable. And how many franchises have you got? I've got two. So what should anyone consider before becoming an Oggy Oggy Pasty franchise owner? Yeah, there's lots of considerations. It depends whether you want to open a, um, a takeaway, whether you want to open a shop, the amount of investment you want to put into it. Naturally, a smaller unit would cost less to fit out and start up. Location's a prime thing. You need to be in the right location. You wouldn't want to be opposite me. And, and, and I, think, I think if you're working with your wife or partner, you need, to have, you need to have a strong relationship. How much support, help and advice did you and do you get from Brian and the team at Oggy Oggy HQ? Brian's very supportive. Um, it's amazing, really. I don't know how many franchise, franchisees can ring up um, the MD of the company at 11 o'clock on a Sunday night or 7 o'clock on a Monday morning and, and, and he always answers his phone 24-7. Um, he's got an excellent area manager in Judy and the support we get it, it extends from, from staff training to EHO, help, insurance. It, they, they run through the whole thing with you, shop fitters, site location, um, equipment purchasing, everything. And um, even we've had cases where the, the delivery lorry broke down one day when we had a top nest shop and Brian actually sent a, 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 a taxi out from the Plymouth City Centre with 15 boxes of, of pasties in it. And the taxi driver was unloading them for about five minutes outside the shop. So how have you enhanced your franchise? How have we enhanced our business? Well, I think the way forward was to look at other things other than just pasties sometimes. Although the, the general run of an Oggy shop is the pasties and the bulk of our sales are pasties, um, we've introduced a few things like cakes, 
cupcakes. We've introduced uh, paninis. We've, we've, we do uh, fish and chips now. And we've also got a sandwich bar, which has proved very successful. So I suppose the final question is, why should people come to your franchise? As a franchisee, we provide very good service. Um, customers come in, we always give them a smile, a warm welcome. We've got regulars that come in every day. And, and the quality of the food that we provide is, is very good. And um, when people leave, they always, they always get a smile and a thank you. Is there anything else you want to say about the franchise or about actually being an Oggy Oggy franchisee? Yeah, I think Oggy, uh, Brian in particular, provides a lot of funding to, to, to charities. Um, we do special things like um, the, the waste at the end of the day. We, we provide it to the soup run in Plymouth. If we've got four or five pasties left at the end of the day, they're very happy to take them up and give them to the homeless. Thanks Ian, hopefully that gives people a good insight into what it's like to be an Oggy Oggy franchise owner. If you want more information about Oggy Oggy and about becoming a franchise owner, don't hesitate to take a look on the website. Brian and the team are looking forward to your call soon.